Hello, I am Voided and Lost, and today I have a tutorial for a working roulette wheel here in the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. Now, the original Java version is by a YouTuber by the name of Rex Stone. So, if you have the Java version of Minecraft, go check out his video. It is very awesome, very awesome stuff. Now, this is a translation of his machine with the uh, Minecraft bedrock redstone mechanics and this is a fully working version uh, the the block swapper swaps the blocks it, uh, you put your your payment in here and you hit go and the wheel spins now when the wheel starts spinning there's a lock so that you can't change up your choice in the middle of the spin and you uh, can't spam this button while it's spinning and so roughly what you will need for this build you will see here on the screen um, there's quite a bit that you will need uh, these are comparators repeaters observers oh uh, what else can't you might not be able to see packed ice shulker box note blocks um, all the different colors are for the different circuits you don't have to have different colors if you don't want but this will give you a general idea of how many blocks you will need. Um, these are more decoration on top. They can be really whatever half slabs that you might want. Um, and also speaking of the decoration, uh, this is what you'll need sort of for the decoration. Again, on top, this makes the, um, the center piece. Uh, these, are to, these are your payments. But you'll need it. You'll you won't need 50, but you'll need some to start off your machine, just so that if people do win, they have something to win. Um, these are non-stackable items, and these are stackable items. Again, they don't have to be diamond hoes for Pete's sakes. Um, and then in this, I have five obsidian because I've noticed, at least when cloning my circuits, the pistons had a tendency to just kind of fire after cloning and uh, likewise when loading a chunk um, the pistons would kind of fire initially and um, I, I didn't exactly have the thing chunk aligned but just in case to make it easier on yourself you can block block some of the uh, pistons off and from creating too much of a mess with some non-movable blocks all right let's get into the build now I started off by laying out um, square here between the corners it's 11 blocks by 11 blocks and then you come off a 4 by 3 a space a 3 by 3 another space and a 4 by 3 and this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 blocks up in the air so we'll start off over here on the left hand side put a redstone lamp in that spot uh, below that a block, a block, and into the side of the block, face a hopper. On this side, we're going to come over with a half slab and put a comparator on it. We are basically making an item sorter. Um, that block, or that comparator, is going to go into a block another one next to it come down to and a bit of redstone dust and another bit of redstone dust up here on top put a button and that is going to go into a dropper with a hopper facing into it and then put just one stackable item in there doesn't matter really what it is okay and then we come over with a half slab from the dropper and a comparator firing into a block and then come over and down one 
with a piece of redstone dust there. Okay, so what we want is a dropper facing up. Going to take that out temporarily. Dropper there. Get rid of that. And then into, into that dropper, we have a hopper. And so the idea is the payments that go in will also be the reward that comes out. And so as this sorts out the payment, this dropper should be shooting it up into a line of hoppers to go over this way. And to accomplish that, we are going to put a block there, a block there with a repeater firing in to this block which will trigger the dropper. Okay we are going to come back over to this side and we are going to come over and down with a bit of redstone dust on top and then we'll get some packed ice Put some packed ice there with the note block on top and then hit the note block three times just like that on the side of the note block is a redstone torch and then come to the side like that with a block and then come up and over and one more and do redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust. Off the end of this should be a redstone torch. And then come down and over one, two. And then come over and up and over one more time so that you get that shape. Off the end come this direction, two more blocks. Right here, we want a redstone repeater. And then off the end of this, we want three pieces of redstone dust. Cool. And so now up here in this hopper, we are going to put 21 stackable items and one item that will be your payment. Just like that. All right, so now up here in this spot, this is where the payments go in and we'll use shulker boxes. And now real quick for those who don't know, if you crouch and hit your middle mouse button wheel, uh, you can copy a block with its data. Uh, so that includes a shulker box, for example. You'll get the box with the items inside. Uh, that also holds true for signs if you do that with a sign put the sign down you can copy the text with the sign uh, happens with droppers hoppers etc so now we are just going to plop this down in here and that way I'll have my diamonds already and uh, now that shulker box is not being emptied because this redstone dust here is firing okay and so now the payment out section We'll need a dropper pointing upwards. So we'll put a temporary block there so that I can put this down there below the floor. And we'll grab our hoppers, take that out, grab our hoppers and just run a hopper line over to there. So the dropper shoots up and we have a nice hopper line over to this dropper. So now we are going to do the block swapper over here on this side going to start with a solid block with a button on top right there and then below that a sticky piston facing down with a block of redstone on its face next to that is another sticky piston facing down with an observer facing into the back then we are going to take a regular piston and place it in that position 
and then we have an observer looking down on that piston firing up into another piston like that we are going to have an observer watching that piston firing into a solid block with yet another piston here facing in and then an observer solid block again a regular piston facing in and again an observer solid block with a regular piston facing in okay so up here looking at this piston is an observer and that is going to fire into a regular piston up here at this piston is an observer firing into a regular piston and now off of this one we are going to have an observer looking at the bottom of that an observer looking at that at that at that that observer fires into a solid block and on top of that is a sticky piston now and that's how we're moving our blocks over instead of watching that guy coming down um, so now what we want is a solid block in that corner we want a cauldron here with one water bottle in it and we want a cauldron here with two water bottles in it now the output that we will take from these we will use to compare to the wheel to tell if we've won or not um, and uh, let's see here let me take these out real quick so you can see what we're doing Right here above this cauldron is a sticky piston. Now we'll choose our three colors for our wheel. And that'll be black concrete, red concrete, and green concrete. Now the black will go in that spot. The red will go in that spot. And the green will go in that spot okay now this should be a functional machine let's give it a quick test yes yes all right now we will come over here and to Take our readings. Next to this observer, we'll put a block with the comparator on top. And the comparator is actually taking a reading through this piston of either the block or the cauldrons behind it. So that is going to fire into a block with a piece of redstone dust on, on it. Then over here we come over and up and over again and this is going to have a comparator on it that comparator is going to fire into a block and then we come over with a half slab we don't need that and a solid block there and then from there we come over and up on the half slab is some redstone dust and that goes into a comparator and finally put a block there and that will cut off the signal so we don't get a short circuit when we do the next part all right let's work on the circuit for the payment out section um, so right there put a temporary block and then a sticky piston and a hopper uh, remove that block into the hopper place four 
non-stackable items. Uh, another temporary block. And then right here, put a cauldron with two bottles of water in it. Over here, do a block and a block and a comparator and a comparator. And it is the comparator readings of the cauldron and the hopper that will indicate whether the return on the reward will be two diamonds or 10 diamonds. All right, over here into this section, put a block and then temporarily come up one more and have an observer look at that block firing into this dropper put a bit of redstone dust and then a block a block a block coming up in that corner over here do a comparator and a comparator into this block. Um, now, in order to fire this sticky piston to move the hopper, let us come over here, this lime green block, put an upward facing sticky piston with an observer looking in that direction so that when it gets pushed up, it will fire our piston here. All right, come back around. And we need a gold block and place the gold block here with a note block on top of that and hit the note block six times. Just like that. Now take an observer and next to this pink bowl, have the observer looking up, an observer looking at that, an observer looking at that, and then come around and have a, the last observer firing into the gold block. And then take some redstone dust and dust and dust. And this is the circuit that will chime our reward and deliver our payment. All right, so now we are going to work on our randomizing circuit. So off of this yellow, we are going to come over one, put one coming down, one there, and one there. So redstone dust, redstone dust, going to have a comparator here going up into a block like that in this spot let's come on down have an observer looking up an observer looking at that one firing over here into a block um, in this spot you're going to have a dropper and inside that dropper are eight non-stackable items and one stackable item just like that uh, coming off the face of the dropper is a hopper let's add a block there and put a comparator so we get a reading from the hopper just like that Come back over this direction. We'll continue this circuit around with some redstone dust and a comparator facing in that direction. Good, good. Uh, here, over on this side, come up in front of the comparator with a block. Put a block there. Come on over to this side and do a block there there, there, and one right next to the dropper. We do redstone dust, redstone dust, and a repeater 
over on this side, over on this side, piece of redstone dust there, down here, add two more blocks coming out, and we are going to have a repeater on three tick delay, a repeater on four tick delay, and another repeater on four tick delay. All right, over here, this last repeater is firing into a block with a redstone torch on top. Next to this is two more blocks, a bit of redstone dust, a repeater on four tick delay. Okay, to finish this bottom circuit up, this comparator is firing into this block and what we want to have happen, we'll continue a circle around like that. We're going to have redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust, and a repeater firing into and able to lock this repeater. Cool. All right, now over here, put a block, put a dropper facing up and a hopper facing down. And just one stackable item in the hopper. Good. And now, oh, I took it out too soon. There we go. Off the back side of the dropper, we'll have a comparator. Firing up into a block. Do an arrangement like that with redstone dust. A repeater here on four tick delay. And that is firing into a block next to the dropper with some redstone dust on top. Over here off of our redstone torch is another block with some redstone dust there. Over here on this side, we're going to come up with a block there, put some redstone dust on top that's right next to the dropper, and then cut off the signal with a block there. Good. And this will lead off to another circuit. Good. So that's the randomizer and this bit will cycle our roulette ball. Okay, real quickly what this should look like when it fires is, um, let's see if I can do this. There we go. As the delay goes through these, this locks this repeater in an on position to keep this torch turned off. And what's happening is when the diamond hole goes through, the signal strength is great enough it goes back and continually fires the dropper. Uh, meanwhile, it's also coming through here and cycling this through keeping this circuit running. And then when in this case, the lever gets fired, that's a signal strength of one. So that basically shuts this whole cycle off and stops our roulette wheel from spinning. So if you look at this redstone torch to see that it stays off, that means our roulette wheel is continually spinning. And that is how this circuit should be working. If it doesn't, then you need to tweak your repeater timings. There we go. All right, next, let's start getting the feed tape for the roulette wheel in place. So right here next to this, put that there. 
come one, two on that side with a repeater on four ticks. Come one, two, three, four, five with the repeater there on four ticks. Come one, two, three, and then up and over and back. All right, and then up, and it's one, two, three, four, five. And then we want a half slab so that that torch doesn't interfere with this. And a block up on top so that the, this line does not jump up onto here. And then cover with redstone right here on this spot. A repeater on Vortex. More dust. Dust, 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 dust. Okay, and over on this side, come up one, and then it's one, two, three, four, five. Forward, one, two, three, four, five. On the very end, that gets a repeater on four ticks. We will come up one there. And then kind of at a diagonal there. And those are to cut off the redstone signals later on. So that, again, it doesn't short circuit. And the rest of these gets redstone dust like that. Good, 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 good. Uh, the observers. So over here on this side is an observer looking at that bit of redstone dust. A block with a regular piston on top of that. And then above this comparator is an observer firing into a block with a piston on the face of it. Over here, in this spot, is an observer firing into a block with a piston here. And then finally, looking at this repeater, That's a repeater over there. Looking at this repeater is an observer firing into a block with a piston on the front. There we go, good. Okay, let's get the locks worked into this. So right next to this, we'll have a block block, 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 um, some redstone dust. To get past this block, we'll put in a repeater, and then some more redstone dust. And we should be in line with that observer down there. So we can just run the line right on down. And there should be a block on the face of that observer. Bring our redstone dust on down. On top of this block is a torch. Then another block. A torch on its side. And a block on top of that. We'll swing around. On top of that block is a sticky piston. With an observer on its head. And then a block, then we come down and over, and over one more. 
Here we have a repeater on four ticks, a bit of redstone dust, and a redstone torch on the side of that block. And then, down here, next to this torch, we have a block, some redstone dust, and then a block to cut that signal off. Come down and kind of zigzag our way over. One more. And then we have a block under this yellow one here. Let's add the redstone dust on top of those. Off the end of this block is a redstone torch. A block in this position with a repeater on top of it. And that is firing up into a block. We swing around to the inside and we have a redstone torch here with a block on top and another redstone torch there. And that is firing into this yellow block with the redstone dust on top. All right, let's come back over to this spot. On top of this lime colored block, we'll do some redstone. Uh, then come on over and over and put a comparator in subtract mode, a comparator behind it. Here we are going to come up and down a block, put some redstone dust there come up and over and do that again up and over here we are going to do a comparator into a block with a redstone torch on its side like that off the end of this will come one more block again and then up and then over again a lot of up and down on that one in this spot we want a repeater on top of both of these blocks redstone dust uh, bring this out to here with on this one, we are actually going to come up like that. We're going to put a redstone torch on the face and on the top and another block. And then a gold block between those and a note block on top. And this hit 10 times. Just like that. All right, and so now we will come on into here and put a temporary block right there. So we can put a sticky piston right next to that torch. Take that out. Have an observer looking up and when that fires, the observer, when the piston fires, the observer will fire into a bit of redstone dust there. And on this side, we'll have an observer looking at that bit of redstone dust by putting that there. And then we'll have an observer looking at that and then we'll come on up and have an observer looking down on that observer. And we should be right pretty close to this cauldron. And finally, let's come on up and around. And what we want is a sticky piston 
on top of the observer that we just put there. And that should be right in line and getting ready to be able to push this cauldron. All right, so now coming back down here with this block and redstone, let's put another block down there and there and there. Redstone dust, redstone dust. We'll have a repeater on four ticks. Under this, we'll have ourselves another block with a redstone torch on its face. Then we'll come down and out and have some redstone dust. And that is coming up into a block. And then we'll put another block there. And then on this side, under our limestone, or under our lime colored wool, we'll put a redstone torch. And so when that turns off, this can turn on and ultimately fire this piston. All right, I suppose it's time to lay some of this track. So right here, we're going to come in this direction do a half slab over your hopper. Come over two more so that we are in line with that piston. Uh, over this redstone torch, do a half slab. Come in line with that piston. To here. Continue it along, right back to there. Okay, good. Um, now fill this in to there. Come to the inside and you should have five here. Likewise, there should be five here. And then at the back end, like that. All right. Get yourself some luck turns. And then on the inside here, Yeah, actually, um, go ahead and cover up that redstone dust there. Uh, put down a lectern. Not there. Like that. Not down there. Now the difference between, one of the differences between Java and Bedrock is that in Bedrock Edition, lecterns are considered solid blocks like that. Uh, they can block off a signal. In Java, uh, they don't block off a signal. Just a fun tidbit to know. One of the one of the differences. Nope, too low. All right. Okay, so now what you want to do is get yourself a book and quill. Open it and go to page thirty. Just like that on page thirty write something, it really doesn't matter, and then sign it. 30, sign and close. 
And so now this is your key for your different power levels and you'll want to make a copy for each of the lecterns that you have and you do that by putting it into a crafting table just like that. And so once you have all of your book copies you'll come over here to your lectern and you'll open them up to specific pages like in this case page number eight in this case page number four and that will determine the output that each lectern will be generating. Uh, that signal will come down and work with our output signals from our cauldrons over that way to give us our final output. So on the screen I'll show what page number you'll have to open each book to and I will see you at the end. Right, and there we go. They are all in place. So now we want comparator readings off of each of each of them. So let's just put down comparators. Like that. And then down here, we are going to put redstone dust. And the redstone dust is so that when our our block is going around and lands in front of an item, we we will get an output. An output of different signal strengths. And that is the lock to lock that until we're ready for it. Alright, so we want to put a block some dust behind these comparators and there we go okay so what we have going on here is the output in conjunction with the length and how far the signal has to go is coming to this point and when it comes through here the net overall value when this subtracts is one well it should be one it is only a signal strength of one that will get through and cause this this gray line to fire uh, setting everything off if it's more it won't fire if it's less it won't fire the outputs from these the black and the red is either a signal strength of one or two and the green ones, the special green ones in the middle will have an output of three. And it's that output, that higher output that will cause this piston and this hopper to fire, giving us a higher reward return. And so I'm going to work that in now And we are creating an AND circuit uh, because not only is it going to trigger everything by going that way, it's also the signal is also going to come this way, like I say, to fire this piston. And so to do that, we are going to step down one, come out and over. We're going to put one block there to cut our redstone off from the redstone that's behind and go dust 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 we're going to step down again one more time here with some dust we're going to put a block there with a redstone repeater on it on a four tick delay we are going to come up one and over with some dust and then bring those across there 
with dust, a redstone repeater, again four tick delay, dust in that corner, and again a repeater here on four tick delay. And this block is the one with our torch, and we have our lime wool there, and the piston and everything. So this circuit coming down, and this circuit coming in from that side onto here creates a nice little and circuit. And lastly, while we are down here, we're going to come over to this spot here and put in a redstone torch. And that is pretty much the redstone part of this build done. Uh, it doesn't really tell us much right now, uh, so that's why we have to decorate it. And so I have grabbed up the three colors of our choices here and some other um, decorative blocks. Um, so let's just start with, with red. No, we're going to start with black. So black over that piston and then red into this corner. And then let's come across this side here. So it's red and black. And then right here in the middle is one of our greens. And on the other side will be red, black, red, and black. And then we alternate that coming down this side. until you get to here. Let's come on over here and again, alternate them coming on across until you get to that point. And then black, red, black. And now this is the middle again. So put a green and then red, black, red, not there, there. All right. And so now you have many options for what block you use as a ball going around this. Um, like a good option would be a gold block, but to change things up, make it a little more interesting, I am actually going to use a redstone lamp. Uh, so looking in this direction towards basically where you would be standing and starting the game. Uh, in the top right corner, up against that piston, put your, your ball choice block, and then choose some half slabs. Uh, so now these are uh, purely decorative choice for your design. Uh, and then just come across with your half slabs. Where this piston is, leave a hole, but come around the corner to this corner and come around to here again in this corner now leave out that block and then you should be right back to the start good 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 um, now to cover these holes over just so it looks better you can put half slabs coming up a little bit um, let us, around these corners, bring this line across. And around. And around. Around again. Uh, let's fill these back in where I took them out. that. Um, let us fill in here. This is polished andesite. Just like that. Um, let us use some of this down in here. And I'm just going to create a little bit of a pattern 
a little bit of a design. Cover this stuff over. Um, and then I will switch up to some of these. We'll add steer blocks here. this and then I'm gonna throw in some gilded blackstone because I think it looks nice in a nice little three by three pattern here and a slight wall dark oak fence on top of that a pressure plate on top of that and then some gates this nice all right now we're getting close very close to the end our payments are diamond blocks our payment out should be diamond blocks so make sure you put um, some starting payments in here in case somebody wins right away and then put a half slab down in there. And that is the machine done. Yes, beautiful. And before I go, I just thought I would um, tell you guys some of the troubleshooting tips I discovered as I was building this. Uh, number one, when I load in the chunk that these are in, uh, so let's take this one for example, newly loaded in. The corners are bare because these pistons have fired just from the chunk loading, pushing these blocks over that way and these blocks over this way. This actually does not hurt the machine. All you have to do is run it and the pistons will fire not doing any harm and then the ones behind here and here will fire themselves and it will get sorted out from this condition. So this is not uh, uh, machine breaking. Uh, something that can cause problems if you come down here to this hopper that's drawing in your payments. If this has two or more blocks here it will lock the machine on and it will just sit here and spin and spin and spin and spin which is not good. Um, so if that is happening and you have determined that it's not an issue down here with your randomizer it might be that you have too many blocks up here in this hopper. Uh, that actually might happen if somebody is here spamming this button. So do not spam the start button. Um, this locks only after the wheel starts spinning. So there is a small fraction of time between hitting this button and the wheel starting that they could spam this and break this. Likewise over here, don't spam this button. Tell your friends, don't spam the buttons. It's redstone, it's it's delicate. Um, what happens here with this is your pistons down here in the bottom ring uh, could get kind of jumbled up because there is a bit of delay. You can hear it when you hit this. That these still run after that pops up and you can actually push these blocks out of position and that's kind of why I have the um, obsidian in these locations um, to help help minimize that especially when I was cloning the machine over to do my general um, thinking and testing and breakdown um, yeah, uh, and then like the difference between that platform and this one is I, I actually put a viewing platform on this. That's purely decorative, but I think in a, in a survival world that you'd want to be up here and, and watch, watch the ball go around. That's kind of part of the fun. Um, I might even extend this over more so that you can see more of the playing field, more of the wheel. If you guys have any issues building this, 
um, contact me in the comments below. Uh, maybe I can help walk you through it. Uh, if you have, <laughs> speaking of this, if you have any other uh, like Java contraptions that you want to see if I can convert into Bedrock Edition, list those down in the comments too. I would be interested in having a hand at it, giving it a try. Because uh, this was pretty fun trying to get this figured out. And so I think I'm going to close here with this. I can't think of anything else to say about it at the moment. Um, just that until next time, as always, have fun and see ya.